one thing I had to say, Sam, about what we were talking about with that era where where cats were rhyming a lot, a lot about just money and and just you know stuff you probably didn't relate to. Um, some of that stuff I didn't relate to either because that just what wasn't where my mentality was. Right. Even though I enjoyed some of the music sometimes, but the more and more I understood, I was like, okay, we got young poor black kids just they get a chance to do something and they think right now that the only like the thing that's most valuable is having those like coming out of poverty and having something money so that was like the mentality and i stopped looking at it down upon it even if i didn't enjoy it like let's take jay-z for example look at jay-z jay-z came from all the stuff he rapped about till now when you come to his latest album it's his most personal personal album most introspective when do you hear about a dude that goes from talking about all the dope he sold and how rich he is to talking about i go to a therapist and therapy has been the best thing i saw him in an interview say the hardest thing he um d not dealing on the streets or or dealing with you know like shooting at people or sh people shooting at him he said the hardest thing he had to do was therapy, dealing with himself. So my point is, people take, it take time for people sometimes when they coming from environments where, man, shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Yeah. And then you don't see anything, so you think a car is, the, is your hope. Or just having some money, that's, that's your, where your pride is. And then you realize, like, man, you know, I, of course I want abundance, but it's so many other things to life. But it just takes time because it's like you got people coming from like the the grittiest, the, the grimiest and, and grittiest parts of life. So that's why I think some of that perspective yeah. was coming from. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.